Among the latest releases available from the BBC Radio collection is A Year in Provence, Peter Mayle's evocative and witty account of setting up home in an old farmhouse at the foot of the Luberon Mountains. Well, looking at BBC One tomorrow evening, at 7 o'clock, there's comedy in Carla Lane's Bread. At 7.30, money is changing hands in Albert Square, and Ian is determined to come out on top in EastEnders. In Dad's I Army like at 8, teams, Captain like Mannering like gets an even more inflated opinion in of his own importance when he's offered the use of a Rolls Royce. And at 8.30, Jim Davidson introduces more contestants to their snooker partners in the new game show, Big Break. After the nine o'clock news, time is running out for Kinsey. In film 91 at 10.25, Barry Norman reviews Misery, featuring James Kahn and Oscar winner Kathy Bates, and Perfectly Normal, starring Scottish comedian Robbie Coltrane. And with boxing, the ABA finals from London's Royal Albert Hall at 10.55, that's the lineup for Tuesday night. Well, now our late look at the weather. Tonight, most places will be cloudy with showers in the northwest dying out. A little mist and frost could occur in some sheltered parts of northwest Scotland. Tomorrow, after a cloudy start with showers in places, many central and eastern areas will brighten up as the showers become confined to the west and southwest. Winds still from the cool north to the northeast. Top temperatures may only reach 13 Celsius, 55 Fahrenheit. And that's the weather. Probably the most common single factor in deaths by drowning in the 15 to 35 age group is alcohol. Yeah. We've been having such a great time. I don't reckon we had all that much to drink. I need help! Following exercise, just one pint of lager or two glasses of wine can reduce blood glucose to a dangerous level. Then he said he'd race us to that boat. He uh, said no. no way. It was too cold. Too far. Come on. Well, he just wouldn't listen. Alcohol impairs physical ability and judgment. Abort! Abort! He said he swam from school. No problem. And then we saw he was in trouble. The low blood glucose level causes weakness and confusion. Alcohol can affect the body's temperature control, promoting rapid hypothermia. The alcoholic drunk made him take more risks than he normally would. He got the sea conditions and the distance and his ability to handle them wrong. Dead wrong. But tragedy can strike in any number of ways. It could have been like this. I'm ready to swim. Here he goes. When you've had a bit too much to drink, even when you're just a bit merry, your ability to judge death suffers. It was Mark who made the big mistake here. Here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> the water was only three feet deep. I have been awarded he was conscious when he left hospital, the orange star, but paralyzed the from the neck down. The blue diamond and the big golden army ball of bravery. <laughs> and I am most proud of this. Even if that hadn't happened, you could find yourself in a situation where what well, seemed like a fun I idea at the time would go horribly wrong. In the water or on the water, it can be dangerous at any time. When you're not familiar with it, or the local conditions, and especially when you're not wearing life jackets. Accidents like these happen every year to people like you. It's worth your missing. In all the deaths by drowning in the 15 to 35 year old age group, probably the most common single factor is alcohol. So if you've had a drink, be very careful. Ich bin echt total fertig. And that brings the time now to one minute to midnight. Oh, and that's all from us tonight. If you feel like switching over to radio, on Radio 1, Bob Harris is in the driving seat between midnight and 4 a.m. with Skin Lagoon and Steve Booker in session, as indeed they will be every night this week. And on Radio so. 2 at 5 past midnight, there's Jazz Parade, oh, in which Peter Clayton the presents the first of the two-part concert by Maxine Daniels show. with Terry Lightfoot's That's Jazz Men. Me. And then at 12.35, Steve Madden takes over with Night Ride. That's on Radio 2. But now, on behalf of all of us here on BBC One, <laughs> this is Roger Maud wishing you a very peaceful night. Good night. Good night. I love engines, pinion shafts, flanges, Mitigating shock loads, 
But most of all, in Battle of Turnips, there is always one turnip. We are this turnip. My eyes are vibrating. Turn it off. Turn <laughs> off. Yeah, I remember that. It was so funny. <laughs> In Russia, if hand is rotten, you cut off hand. If arm is rotten, you cut off arm. But if heart is rotten, you cut off leg. We won. Today we have won. There are no more babies to fight. This is Russian love song. Oh, now I do feel guilty about that one. Let me have something in eye. Hold it a tight work. Where was the other team during that last round? Oh, that's right. They were in bits all over the point. Oh, heureusement, j'ai déjà tout oublié.